Number 11. Cleveland Brown. Muhammad Massaqua. as far as being on your first upper deck rookie card. How important is that to you? How big a thrill is it today? Oh, it's so special. It's just to come out here and do different shoots and actually see yourself on it. Uh, you go see the cameraman afterwards and you're like, that's really me. <laughs> it's a huge thrill, huh? Oh, huge thrill, huge thrill. What about signing autographs for the fans? Uh, do you consider that an honor? It's special because uh, they're going out there expecting to get yours and they, they want to know that you, you actually put something into the car and you, you can verify that with your signature. Do you do anything unique with your signature? Uh, let me ask you, do you sign a full name or is it kind of MM? Or uh, I have my M in the, the loop. I have a J for my middle initial, then I have the last M, and I have some squiggles in there to tweak it up. Squiggles? Yeah. <laughs> Set it apart? Yep. What about uniform number? Do you, you have that in? I do. I put uh, two sticks, two, two ones. Nice. <laughs> now, what's the most unusual thing you've ever signed through the years? Uh, uh, <laughs> I've, I've, I've signed a couple of body parts, some, some weird body parts, and uh, it's just it's weird. You, you sign just little scraps of paper or just whatever people can find you know you may sign somebody's arm or somebody's back or you know their neck or anything like sure. that <laughs> now as far as trading cards in general were you a collector as a kid do you have any cards in your private collection that you can share with us today i have some of the old school basketball cards i remember my teacher used to give them out when i was like in the second grade for being good and that's when i really got into it and i still have my collection back at home in my binders there you go. <laughs> yeah now, what about other football players? Do you have any autographs in your collection? Uh, any guys, Hall of Famers, anything like that? I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm slacking when it comes to that. So hopefully I can pick up some of these guys before they become famous out here today. Now, as far as um, idols, uh, guys that you were trying to emulate growing up, uh, can you share anybody that was setting the pace for you, saying, that's the guy that I want to be like when I get older? Of course, everybody loves Jay Rice. Everybody loves Dion. Guys like that, uh, that really paved the way that, you know, that, that were just exciting entertainers. Do you have any um, signatures that you would like to get out there? Uh, Barack Obama, Michael Jordan, anybody like that? All of them. I, all, every, everybody, because it it means something to you when you look at it 30 years, 40 years, and you're able to show your kids, you know, this this was actually Barack Obama, this was Michael Jordan, this was so-and-so, this was so-and-so. And it's special to have that authenticity. Nice. Now, what about um, as far as cherished memories from college? Is there one moment in time that resonates with you still that you look back and just have fond memories of? Uh, my teammates, of course, just the just the little moments that we spend together. And uh, the SEC championship is definitely something that I will remember for the rest of my life. Do you have any pregame rituals you go through every day that you must do before you hit the field? No. <laughs> just, just wake up, huh? Yeah, just wake up, go out there, have a good time, and just, just work as hard as I can. Here's a big question for you, Muhammad. What makes you this year's most valuable rookie? Uh, I'm going to put the time in. I'm going to make sure that I know what's going on. I'm going to listen to my coaches, and I'm going to leave it all out there on the field every time I step out there.